Why is the sky blue? This would be a strong contender for science's dirtiest trick question, because really, it isn't blue. In fact, it isn't any colour at all. It all comes down to how the human brain interprets visible electromagnetic radiation, also known as sunlight. Although raw sunlight appears white, it's actually a mixture of all the magical colours of the rainbow. Isaac Newton demonstrated this when he used a prism to separate them out, a nifty little party trick known as refraction. These colours form the visible range of what's called the electromagnetic spectrum. It includes superhero powers like gamma rays and X-rays at one end, and the less sexy microwaves and radio waves at the other. Light waves on this spectrum are so small, they're measured in nanometers, or billions of a meter. Each color has its own individual wavelength and frequency. But in space, they combine to produce white light, and they all travel at the same speed, the speed of light. The action doesn't really begin until the light reaches Earth and crashes headlong into the oxygen and nitrogen molecules that make up 99% of our atmosphere. It's then that the colours start to separate, with some getting knocked about more than others, an effect known as Rayleigh scattering. The shorter the colour's wavelength, the more it gets bounced around, and blue light is at the short end of the spectrum. This means that when it hits the atmosphere, the air molecules scatter the blue light everywhere, while other colours pass straight through with barely a scratch. So blue appears to be coming from all over the sky as it makes its way to your eyes. Et voila, a blue sky. But here's why it's a trick question. The sky isn't really blue, we just think it is. And the reason for that is all down to the way our brains work. Our eyes only pick up the wavelength and send that signal to the brain. The brain then decides what colour that wavelength should be, while painting the whole picture in real time. It's the original blue sky thinking.